What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlay here. So actually going to be talking about Spider-Man in this video here again today. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home was a big success when it released in December of last year. One of the best movies of the year. My favorite film of the year. And now recently we have already known of course this would be a thing. We are expecting the college years to come with Tom Holland back as Spider-Man. But more recently a comment came out from Sony chairman Tom Rothman saying that they hope to get working on the next Spider-Man movie with John Watts, Tom Holland and Zendaya. Now, here's the issue there for a lot of people. Now, this is coming to us from Deadline. I also want to throw that out there. A lot of people seem to have an issue with John Watts being back and Zendaya. And, of course, this report sounding like they're not doing anything new. Here's my thing. We still don't know, of course, any specifics about how Zendaya would even be factored into the movie. Also, from John Watts, who directed these movies, I think the issue people have from what I'm seeing is that they feel he is playing it too safe and they want a lot more visual flair that they don't think he can capture like a Sam Raimi or someone else. So they want some memorable visuals that I guess they don't feel like they're getting from him. But in and of itself... I don't think I would mind him doing another trilogy as much as I do think that the benefit of having him stand out from this series of origin stories, I would say, for Tom Holland, Spider-Man, then giving the mantle over to another director to focus on the college years. I'm not against I'm not against that either. Just, to, of course, to highlight the different styles you could have for the trilogies. If that's something many people are just hoping for that they don't think they can get with John Watts tapping into like multiple different styles so when it, going back to Zend zendaya really quick we know at the end of no way home there was a spell cast where she of course forgot that he was who, who he was and that he was spider-man so when it comes to that maybe there's something that of course will happen where they find out the truth and go confront peter uh, maybe that'll happen because it's not to i don't think it's safe to just assume so zendaya is going to be back the spell is going to be rendered useless and it will undo the developments for Peter's character at the end of No Way Home as a whole. I don't think that's what's going to happen. If anything, maybe her role will be minor and slowly over the trilogy, it'll just progress into something more important. Because I know I've seen people make arguments, oh, they should introduce Gwen or they should introduce Felicia, I think was another person I saw brought up. Introducing a new love interest would be something I would prefer they do. But I, again, want people to also remember bringing Zendaya back. That's not something I think should be too shocking considering who Zendaya is and how popular she is right now. But that doesn't mean that Zendaya is going to be back in the main lead role with Tom Holland. I know a lot of people think that that's exactly what's going to happen given their statuses with each other in real life. But I think it's best to just wait and see what else comes out because of the fact that, again, I have hope that they are not going to just simply eradicate everything that we just saw and then bring everything back with those three, that trio of friends back together. It's as if nothing happened at the end of No Way Home. They're all good with each other now. Peter is still dealing with his MJ stuff. And honestly, Zendaya's portrayal of MJ, I love Kirsten Dunst. Just to throw this out there, just a nice little uh, nugget for Zendaya. The way she's portrayed MJ over what I recall how MJ has been in the comics from when I was younger, I would say she's a more accurate representation of Mary Jane. Maybe I'm not the only one in that boat. Uh, I love what Kirsten Dunst did. She's a great actress. But in comparison to who portrayed MJ the most accurately, I would say it's Zendaya's iteration. That's just me personally. Um, I still do prefer the Raimi films. But there's some things that are better with these new films over the Raimi films. That's just how it is from what I remember from the comic books. I don't think there's a problem with Zendaya coming back as much as it is. OK, well, how are you going to factor her into the narrative? Zendaya coming back in and of itself isn't the problem. But I think a lot of people, of course, are just jumping the gun and thinking that they're going to eradicate and or maybe just hoping they don't erase and stomp on that emotional ending of Spider-Man No Way Home, which again was a major, major factor into Peter completing his origins into becoming Spider-Man. He's been Spider-Man the whole time, but with the ending of No Way Home, it really does send home the fact that this first trilogy has been an origin tale for him. Now you're going into a new chapter in your life and you're gonna learn and hopefully experience a lot of new things. And they don't want that to be dampened by bringing in things of the old, having that get retwisted into his current 
and then making it as though he didn't learn or progress at all whatsoever from what happened at the end of No Way Home, which I don't think bringing them all back would completely dismantle it as much as it would be a complete halfway mark, only because of the fact that you haven't committed to what you did fully, if you're just going to simply reverse it all so quick. Slowly progressing to something like that, that's fine. My only hope, of course, is that they give him a new love interest. They don't try to bring in all of these elements from what they just had him sacrifice in No Way Home to this new iteration so early on because I think that's going to take away from what him going forward is supposed to be representing because you're still bringing up all of these things that he just let go of in the past and you're doing it rather fast versus letting it be a slow progression of things that become combined with his new walk of life and these new developments in his life his new love interests new threats new enemies new friends have that all culminate in something that builds up to Zendaya's character of Mary Jane and Ned finding out that Peter messed with them and confronting him about it. It doesn't have to happen right away in this first college movie. I really do think that Zendaya's presence in this movie, while it might be more significant than I'm thinking of, it's not going to be just a quick switcheroo of what happened at the end of No Way Home. I hope it's not. If it is, I am going to have a problem with that only because, again, I understand who Zendaya is. Her coming back isn't the problem. It's most it's more so what is the narrative you're going to give us with her back? What are you going to do? Are you just going to erase what happened in No Way Home and stomp all over it? Or are you going to build us up to a moment in which Peter's actions at the end of No Way Home end up being his consequences now when they find out what he did while he can still go on and have a lot of thriving narratives that don't rely solely on bringing in the old and mixing it in with his current new this is a new slate let the new slate breathe on its own for a little bit before you jump into him addressing what he did at the end of no way home off the bat i don't think that's a good way to necessarily start off a new trilogy by having him instantly have to deal with that let him let us see where he's at now let us experience the college years let him try new things let all of these new avenues open up and then have him confronted with things he did in the past have it culminate but let me know what you guys think about that all down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links on social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course so let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video